Starlink is now offering a new service plan called Roam 10 Gigabyte. Roam 10 Gigabyte costs $10 per month, making it Starlink's cheapest service plan, and it includes 10 gigabytes of Roam data. Now, that may not seem like a lot of data to the average person, but it's actually perfect for the occasional traveler or as a home internet backup solution. So let's take a look at this new service plan. And actually you won't find it anywhere on the Starlink website. You will not find it on the Roam page of the Starlink website. And that's interesting because they're actually not really targeting this for brand new customers. Starlink started sending out emails last night to existing subscribers with paused Roam service plans. And I actually got one of them myself, which is how I learned about this. But it's interesting because it seems like they're targeting people with inactive or paused subscriptions. They're wanting people to come back to try out this lower data tier Roam plan to see if that would fit their needs better. I think the idea here from Starlink is that $10 per month is cheap enough where people are willing to have this plan active all year round, paying $10 per month, 12 months out of the year, instead of going with something like Roam 50 gigabyte and only having it active like three months out of the entire year. But it's not just for Starlink's benefit. You and I can benefit as well from this service plan and keeping it active all year round. So yeah, just $10 per month, this makes it perfect for like home internet backup, where you have a permanently installed Starlink dish and you have this Roam 10 gigabyte plan. Maybe you have it hooked up to a dual WAN router that can accept two internet sources. That way when your primary connection goes down, it automatically fails over to your secondary internet source, which in this case could be Starlink Roam 10 gigabyte. And since it's active all year round and just at $10 per month, you don't have to worry about trying to activate it on the Starlink app whenever your primary internet goes down. You don't have to worry about logging into the Starlink app or getting cell phone service or email service to be able to get those login codes or any of that. It just takes a, a lot of hassle out of using Starlink Roam as a backup internet source or as a travel internet source if you can have that plan active all year round. This Roam 10 gigabyte plan is also gonna be a great option for travelers, especially road trippers. Uh, I'm one of those people. I have my Starlink Mini with me at all times when I'm taking a long trip in a vehicle. And $10 a month is cheap enough to where I could actually just leave this plan active and keep my Starlink Mini installed in my car and just rely on it for backup internet source if I'm ever in a remote area that doesn't have cell phone service. It's not like I'm streaming Netflix or anything off of this connection. I'm really just using it when I'm outside of cell phone range in remote areas for downloading things like maps, streaming music, and sending the occasional text message. 10 gigabytes is plenty of data for that. So let's talk about the details of this plan. So it's $10 per month, like I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, making it their cheapest service plan. You get 10 gigabytes of Roam data. And that Roam data includes all of the normal Roam features. So you'll be able to use Roam 10 gigabyte in motion. You'll be able to use it uh, internationally for up to two months per trip. You'll be able to use it on coastal waters up to 12 nautical miles offshore. And you'll also be able to pause and unpause like any other Roam service plan. The biggest difference between Roam 10 gigabyte and the other plans like Roam 50 gigabyte is the data price of overages. So like whenever you go beyond your data cap. So with Roam 50 gigabyte, whenever you go past 50 gigabytes of data usage per month, you can actually opt in to additional overage data at $1 per gigabyte. With Roam 10 gigabyte, the overages cost more. So if you go beyond 10 gigabytes of usage and you opt in to additional data, your cost will be $2 per gigabyte. So that means the break-even point between these two plans is gonna be 30 gigabytes of data usage. In other words, if you use less than 30 gigabytes of data per month on average, then the Roam 10 gigabyte plan is gonna be cheaper and probably a better option for you. Whereas if you use 30 gigabytes or more on average per month, then the Roam 50 gigabyte or even the unlimited plan is gonna be a better option for you because on that 50 gigabyte plan, those overages cost half as much as with the 10 gigabyte plan. All right, so how do you get this Roam 10 gigabyte plan? Like I'd mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's not available to order from the Starlink website. If you're a new customer, you can't just get on the website and order it. It's not available as a plan in the selection. So they're really targeting existing subscribers for this. If you're an existing subscriber, you can go into your account dashboard at starlink.com or in the app and if you have an active or paused subscription, you'll be able to actually change your service plan 
to this new Roam 10 gigabyte option if you want to. If you're new to Starlink and you want this 10 gigabyte plan, you have to first sign up to like Roam 50 gigabyte on your initial order, and then you can switch to Roam 10 gigabyte later on. And it also looks like any Starlink model, any dish model can be used with this new 10 gigabyte service plan. So they're not restricting it like just to the mini or just to the standard, that kind of thing. You can pretty much use any dish with Roam 10 gigabyte. So in summary here, this is a great new service plan option. It looks like Starlink listened to a lot of their feedback. I did see a survey that they sent out a couple of months ago asking people if they would be interested in a super low data cap plan such as 10 gigabytes just to keep active all the time for like home internet backup or maybe travel light data usage travel purposes and it looks like they delivered so a lot of people have been asking for a plan like this i think my only real disappointment here is that the data overage charge is double the cost of the normal rate so you pay two dollars per gigabyte anytime you go over 10 gigabytes instead of the one dollar per gigabyte that you get with like rome 50 gigabyte so Kind of disappointing there but again this is intended for low demand low data usage where you're not really using that much each month and if that's you then you can save quite a bit of money by having this plan active all the time constantly ready to go if you need a home internet backup situation or if you're going to hop on the road for a road trip things like that just keep it in your car all the time i think it's a great new option but i'd love to hear from you let me know in the comments below what you think of this new Roam 10 gigabyte plan. Is it something that you're interested in? Is it something that you're gonna to switch to? Let me know how you are gonna use it in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.